Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where I just did a bunch of mining in the Tachanka system and the Krogum DMZ and I upgraded pistol, critical, like critical chance and the I got Legion his own sniper rifle, the Geth sniper rifle. I believe the only companion upgrade we're missing is the expanded fuel cells. Uh, the med bay one isn't important, but we'll get that one too, eventually. Um, but I just want to make sure, like I'm, you know, that's not what I want. That I'm good to go with everybody, all my friends. Um, okay, we're gonna do one. Blah. If I keep going in the order I'm going in, you'll see what what order I like people in. <laughs> AKA, I don't really care about Jacobs. I would be content leaving him for last. <laughs> um, Cause all of these ones are way more interesting. Jacobs is kind of depressing. Let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Where is the one? I just want to get it out of the way. Aia and the Alphon, Alpha, Alphon, Alpha Dracona system in the Rosetta Nebula. Oh, in Mass Effect 1 you had to, like, remember, but now you don't have to... You... You just gotta, you just gotta find it in the midst of all these things. What do I gotta do? I gotta look up when's best to do DLCs. I'm probably gonna do Overlord towards the end. I'm definitely doing the Normandy Crash one later. I'm curious about the Rosalie, the Firewalker one. When would be good to do that? Joke, joke, joke. I cannot talk. Wow, it is way out. It is way out in the middle of nowhere. Enoch. Alright, don't mind me. Oh. Look at this. Labanza Desert World has oxygen trapped under a helium layer. Um. There was a surprising archaeological discovery, the iridium in the air, um, in the atmosphere, I guess. Oh no, that was on the planet, just discovered from orbit. It came from bunkers on the surface, blown apart by a dreadnought-class weapon. The logical conclusion was that the civilization on Joab had reached Laban, and its outposts here were destroyed to make their extermination complete. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Detected an anomaly. Oh, yes! Okay, this is final. It's, we need to actually go run around at some point, scanning all these planets, because stuff like this happens, where you can actually land on the planet. Joab is a two-moon habitable event. Oh wait, this might actually be because of um, Jacob's thing. Wasn't? Yeah, this is. Uh, dang it, this does happen though, where you can land on random planets. I think we've done it... I don't know if we've done it outside of main missions, but you can just kind of run around scanning planets, and you can pick up side missions. Uh, well known for its mass extinction event, thousands of years ago, Joab was home to a primate-like space faring civilization as well as abundant flora and fauna. However, this can only be deduced from time capsules put into the ground well outside habitation centers. All cities and detectable dwellings were targeted in a massive orbital bombardment that turned them into vapor. The resulting dust shroud killed all photosynthetic life and all fauna dependent on it. Today, humans have recolonized the planet and are rapidly introducing their own species, beginning with cyanobacteria and heterotropic bacteria to bring a suitable level of oxygen and nitrogen for respiration. Atmospheric pressure at sea level is double on Joab. Visitors can, oh, with those things should, so, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't Jacobs? Oh, over here. I have found something. Mercenary activity, communications match, Blue Sun's protocol, possible location for rumored site of illegal archaeology! I think I remember this actually. Since it's Blue Sun's, we'll bring Zaid. It's probably a bad idea. Increases weapon damage. 
Yeah. Warlord. I already did Legion's points. That's what I did. Made him a Geth assassin. And gave him improved AI hacking. We should be good to go, but I will take the missile launcher. I guess we already know which planet. I think we know which planet that the Hugo Gernsback tried to land on. I, for a second there, I was like, oh man, I just didn't read the mission parameters all the way. <laughs> Like, obviously this is the Jacob planet, but it's not, baby. We get to retrieve the artifact. Is this part of... Yeah, this is just new. This is new. We didn't have this one. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Whoa. Actually, really quick. Time to move the mouse and keyboard. Oh, and I need to... Firing an impact oh, oh. These guys die much faster. Target contact! They threw my shields! Are we good? Oops. Element zero, good. I think to get the fuel cells, we needed to get more element zero, which luckily one of the planets in this area had some when I was mining, but it's always good to get more. It's the hardest, it's the rarest material, a mineral out there. I will not tolerate looting. I will not. I actually think this is part... Isn't this where the N7 operative is? Or not the N7, the... Um, it looks like the place where you can get the Cerberus operative and rest. Well, not rest. They're dead. <laughs> but. Oh my gosh, look at, look at Zaid. He's glitching out. Mm, Zaid's broken. He is uh, just straight up broken. Now he's alive. Oh, here, 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 here. Throw your grenade in. There's a, there's a bunch of them. Long range kill. You gonna do it? Oh. Freaking, they wouldn't even have any respect whatsoever for any of this. They'd just be like tearing stuff up trying to find something and probably like going through a bunch of really valuable d like data, especially when it's in situ, right? When it's like in place. Like they're just like throwing things around. Which way am I supposed to go? Oh no. Oh, is it just the same? Okay, I was like, I don't want to. I don't want to go the right way yet. 
you always want to go the wrong way first. But they would never, like, they're probably like, oh, we gotta find some super cool secret weapon. And there would probably be, like, really cool, like, ritual, like, potentially, like, ritual artifacts or, like, especially if it's, like, a weapon thing, you know? They're not, not anticipating, like, really interesting data about, like, how normal people lived. I'm looking at really interesting data about rituals. I can't move. Oh my goodness. Oh, my targeting ray kill's going again. That's cool. Can't see anything. Both just reload at the same time. Bye. <laughs> he didn't do that the first time because he had armor on. I'm coming for you. Not sure about Oopsie. Oh, I need to put. Oops, I need to put. Not the, probably matters. We're probably almost done. A PDA. Once the artifact is secured and in transit, your orders are to take your men and rendezvous with Captain Vores. In the Iron Larkin system in Omega Nebula, blah blah blah. Cap Commander Santiago. And I, I recognize the name for us too. Yo, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. I think there's a couple more like this, and it's a little weird. get more data now. We get to see the collectors. Modified Protheans. Was there stuff in there? That's freaking right. On these ones, I think if there's stuff in there, like you have to you have to grab it first before clicking on it. I remember I I have anyway. I'm probably just making things up, but I have vague recollections of that being the case beforehand as well. That only took <laughs> like 15, not even 15 minutes, because I spent most of that time freaking running around um, mining stuff. Excuse me while I finish mining really quick. So this is a very biblical uh, system, isn't it? Goliath, Enoch. I don't recognize. I mean, I, rec I think I recognize Joab. Laban, if that's how you pronounce it, is not biblical, but I do know. Well, yeah, it's it's not biblical, but it is scripture. Unless there's a Laban in the Bible too. Maybe there is. I don't recognize the name. I don't recognize the name Mizraim either. Anyway, Jacob's over here. Uh, we're just gonna have to start Jacob's mission. Unfortunately, <laughs> like a mid episode kind of. After I do this. The planet is within the habitable zone. Has liquid water. It's maybe an as yet unexplored garden world. But according to 
potentially the Asari. It was on the list of forbidden mass relays that led to uncharted space. Anyway, God, I'm just trying to scan right now. Away. Shoot! Something on our sensors. Element zero two. Anyway, I will be. I'm just gonna finish scanning this because I didn't finish scanning the other one. We're just gonna upgrade some stuff really quick. Holy! Oh, I am going to read those later. Oh my gosh! I meant to go see Anderson too. While I was at the Citadel, we still have to go back for Garrus. Um. Really quick. What was I gonna say? Oh, in case anybody has forgotten, Jay, oh, not James, um, he's in the next game. Um, breaking, now I can't, now I just want to call him James. Jacob, um, got a message about, like, the Hugo Gern's back, which he thought, like, five years ago it crashed somewhere. He just got, like, the, like a, like a, an emergency transmission from them with these, loca with this location, so that's why we're here. We are gonna grab the fuel cells now, which I think gives us all of the necessary Normandy upgrades. Legion would like to talk Oh to my you. gosh, okay, we'll do that later. Just pretend I didn't come back here. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna land here and start his mission? I don't know. So we need Jake. We're gonna be fighting people. Actually, Thane would be good for this with the Shredder ammo. I just, I know, I'm pretty sure that Legion has dialogue for things that, like, if you bring him out, like, other characters wouldn't necessarily have because they try to, like, cram in some, like, character stuff for him, but there's also stuff that he doesn't participate in. So I'm like debating. Uh, honestly, thing with the shredder ammo is probably our best choice. Look who I don't bring out ever. Let's do your pull. Let's do staying alive. And then incendiary ammo. I still want the missile launcher. Perfect. What a lovely garden world. Crazy. I wonder why we haven't done anything with it. This is so weird. To be fair, this system is on the literal outskirts of the Milky Way galaxy, too. Which is why I think it's significant in some ways that they bring up, like, the fact that those uh, those archaeological, like, discoveries of, like, those outposts that look like outposts, not necessarily, not necessarily, um like living places but it's like these outposts that were like decimated by some kind of big weapon whoa i wonder what that could have been Life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside <laughs> I, I think it's so funny when they just like equip the sniper rifles but is it do you have what gun is that you use a shotgun you got this. Change weapons. Yeah, change weapons. So there it is. There it is. <laughs> and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Big. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Big. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as it Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm sure everything's totally fine. Repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human oh, physiology. Man. Override. Beacon resumed. 
pause time, eight years, 237 days, seven hours. What a pretty garden world that is apparently extremely toxic to us. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. Mm. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Hmm. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. Wow. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage to investment and crew. Why are you comparing the crash to theoretical speeds? The Hugo Gernsback was constructed off-world. It is not rated for suborbital descent, and doing so exceeded operational parameters. Hmm. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Yeah. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, oh, that seven was that hours, long. on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. Deleted. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine mm -hmm. years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. I doubt that ship carried ten years worth of food. And it's a big ship, but I doubt it. This mission sucks so much. It is exactly what you're thinking it is. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe you don't have all the clues, but exactly what you're hearing is exactly what you're thinking is going on. The neural decay is making it so that the people don't have any say or will. Specifically, the women are being taken advantage of, obviously, here from that thing. And it's just, oh my gosh, I've. Oh, my company's been having an issue with something similar, like obviously not exactly the same, but like sexual harassment issues, and like it's just so freaking frustrating. I get so angry. It's like, why is it so difficult for some men to just, just freaking, just, what is it, like contemplate the idea that a woman is an autonomous person and that when she says no, she freaking means no. And it's not necessarily like a derogatory thing or an attack on you. She just said freaking no. And like, why do you gotta keep? Oh, I'm so <laughs> makes me so angry. I don't see why this is an impossible thing to like understand, and why it has to be an issue. Like, it, I don't know why it has to be like a personal attack of some sort when it's not. Like. I just don't get it. Crash. You can't expect the luxury of do 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 process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. 
His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him, but I don't know. Yeah. This mission just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I don't like it. That's why we're getting it done. I'm not saying that like this mission shouldn't have been included or anything. Terrible things happen. You came from the sky. The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Like, I'm not saying this mission shouldn't have been included. Like, terrible things happen. People do terrible things in these sort of circumstances. You know, and like, ignoring it isn't necessarily, or like, you know, not including it is not going to make it just go away. Seeing it in a form like this kind of lets you approach it from kind of a safe distance and realize like how terrible these kind of things are, you know? Like, taking the right of choice, like, away from a woman, you know, taking the cognitive, you know, the ability to reason from any human being and, like, manipulating them is, like, a garbage thing to do. And this is, like, this could be a way for somebody to, like, maybe understand that through, like, a different lens, you know? If it helps even one person to recognize how terrible this is, like, that's a win in my books. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Oh, oh I almost missed that. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them. Agents of the liar, he will not escape! I almost missed that, oh my gosh. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut it off there. Unfortunately, because I have to put one of the most unpleasant missions in two parts. I do apologize for that. I'm frantically editing these, uh, literally hours before I have to leave. <laughs> Uh, for work for eight days. I'm back in the field by the time you guys watch this, so hopefully I can get enough videos out. Yay! But thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, and Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your support. Uh, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.